guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here thank you for stopping by and do i have a story for you <laughs> this was probably by far one of my most memorable times from college if i do say so myself say hello to my leopard friend this is my favorite blanket i just hung it behind me because why not so this is going to be a story about my college roommate and I don't know whether to call this like crazy or scary or deadly. I don't know. But let's start off with how I got to college. Just a little short background for you so you can learn how I got the roommate I got. <laughs> so when I decided to go to college, I was originally going to go to college out of state. I'm originally from Oregon, but I currently live in Arizona and I moved here during high school. I graduated early. I was gonna go to college here, that was kind of the plan, ASU, since I was like in 8th grade, and then, you know, things change, and if you know me, things change quite often. I like to live life, and spontaneously, if you add that as you will, but I can talk more about that in another video, which I think I am going to because I have kind of a secret announcement to make, but in the short future, not quite sure exactly the date I'm going to be telling you guys, but it'll be coming soon. Okay, back to college. So I decided not to do that. I moved back to Oregon and I enrolled in a community college there. So I was all set and ready to go. And then it was literally a week, week before when you're a freshman going into college. And if you're going to a, you know, state school or a bigger college, they usually have a week prior that is freshman only. And there are different events and getting to know the school, meeting people around you, kind of learning stuff about the school and getting involved. And since I was going to a community college, I did not have that. So... <laughs> On the Thursday before the Monday of which school started, like I had registered school classes starting that Monday at a community college in Portland, and um, that Thursday before, I went and stayed with my friend who was going to be going to Western Oregon University. I knew nothing about it besides it was a big teaching school and that's what I was going into. But I wanted to go and have some fun with her because they had all these like events and stuff going on, like I said. So I drove out there. It was uh, I think like two hours from my house in Portland, maybe less. That night we went to like this comedian show, Tosh point oh tosh tosho i really don't watch that show and i don't watch you know much tv so i barely know who he was he was there and then we went to like a magician thing and then i stayed in her dorm and like met her like dorm mates hall people i was like wow this is really cool like i wish i could do this and i was like oh wait a second so friday morning when i woke up <laughs> in my friend's dorm i called my mom and i was like you know what i think i want to go here <laughs> so I dropped everything that I had planned. I was starting school at a community college that Monday. Yes, like I said, a little spontaneous sometimes for the better or worse, but in this case, overall it was for the better. But roommate situation, not so much. So I called my mom and I told her, I'm going to the housing center to register for housing and then I'm gonna drive home, pack up the car and move in. <laughs> I was like, I'm going here. And I decided that basically that night when I went to bed, I was like, you know, this would be kind of cool. And then I woke up like, no, I'm, I'm going to do it. In the next 24 hours, that Friday morning when I woke up, my friend who had gone to visit came back with me to Portland. Well, first I went to the housing, signed up for housing in the school. And to kind of like tell you, I had already applied to the school and got in months and months prior. I had just been applying to colleges to see like if I wanted to go somewhere. Honestly, I knew nothing about a school. I just had friends applying. So that's why I had applied there too. Because I was already accepted, it went way faster. I filled out the paperwork and gave it to them. She's like, okay, your room should be ready in like three hours. Like, do you know anyone or do you want a random? So I had to do a random roommate. I didn't know anyone there besides a couple of friends but they already had their rooms and everything set up because they had gone planned to go there for months <laughs> lo and behold me you know like the friday before school started after i filled the paperwork my friend drove with me back to portland we packed up my car filled it up i had a ford explorer so we could fit quite a bit in there man this is a long intro i am hoping okay i'm at eight minutes right now and i'm hoping i shorten this for you guys because I'm going on tangents here. So we get back to the school and my housing was ready. So I picked up my paperwork and I go and I'm one hall over from my friend, which was really cool. Mine was Christensen and then I forget what the other two were because I didn't live in them. <laughs> I was in first Christensen, which is on the first level to your left, 1C. We called it 1C. And you had to have like key fobs to get in. Anyway, I go and I'm like all the way at the end of the hall and then T to the left. So I'm at the end, I go in, I kind of move my stuff in and then my roommate, I met her and I was like, you know, this is awkward. I don't know who this is. But I was like, 
I got time to get to know him, you know, nine months of school. So she leaves with her friends because they were in there when I moved in. And then I moved all my stuff in. And by the time she got back, I'd been like asleep or something. I don't know. Then I went and, like hung out with my friends the next day and was like, hey, I like moved here. <laughs> like I didn't tell anyone yet. So yeah, I was basically working on my dorm and like telling people I was there. And my mom canceled all of my stuff at the community college for me and she got her money back. <laughs> and put it towards the more expensive schooling. All right, so now is when we get to the roommate situation. My roommate, we have to give her a name. She had an odd name to begin with. I'm not gonna say it was weird or like whatever, but it was different. And um, I mean, kind of cool. Like I've never heard, I, I had never heard of the name before, but for privacy reasons, um, I'm sure only like one person is gonna be seeing this video, but um, in case more people do, we are going to name her something else. So her name is going to be Heidi. Okay, so Heidi lived in this room like five days before I did. And you know, I already felt like I was like less dominant in the room, which we should be equal counterparts. We are sharing the room, we are both paying for it. And so over the next week, that first week we ended up like, the first few days were really awkward. And then after that, we ended up like staying up all night to talk to each other. We got to know each other pretty fast and became really good friends. So yeah, we became really good friends like a few days after I'd moved in and we were good friends for a few months. And then, so school started in September and then by November, um, that is when all hell had like broken loose and, and I was, I didn't know what to do. Let me tell you what happened. Over the course of these like two to three months, I learned very quickly that random roommates were, you know, I thought it was a great thing at first and we were getting along. We like converted the room, we made bunk beds and then we like had a futon in our room. Like everyone hung out in our room because it was so cool and we had like dance moms nights because back then dance moms was a big deal. I feel like now it's kind of faded off and it's more like little kids watching it. But anyway, so we always watched that. We had like movie nights and all this stuff and everyone came to our room. So that was a lot of fun, but slowly as time progressed i realized that hey like heidi forgot to take out her trash or heidi didn't do her laundry for the past couple of months or you know heidi didn't uh clean up in general our room would start to smell so bad and she'd be like hmm like i don't smell anything and then like not too long after would realize that like it did smell but then would blame something else but like our room would smell so bad because first of all she did not ever wash her sheets she only washed her sheets once the uh whole time i was roommates with her and that was over winter break and she rarely did her laundry so it would sit in her armoire make the room smell musty and gross and kind of like throw in like personal issues i had a lot of health stuff going on i could get sick very easily and to be living in an environment where trash was never taken out she would leave her milk sitting on a counter and it would curdle like inches of it would curdle would have old food plates sitting out never washed her dishes or never threw anything away for that like having the mold and the bacteria stay in the room and this closed environment yes i could open the windows which i did occasionally but we couldn't sleep with them open because it was really cold in oregon on the first floor so we had a lot of bugs that were like right there on our windows and giant spiders are not my friends so i would get sick constantly because of the mold and the bacteria and like all this stuff the smell it was awful and after getting really sick um where i couldn't go to classes for i think over a week i was done i could not handle being her roommate anymore it was that and her attitude she always thought she was better than me which sure i'm sure <laughs> academically she was i honestly did very well academically um when i was at western um well as in like a's and b's i don't know i always felt like i was treated like i was less than her but i'm someone who thinks that you know you shouldn't really care what other people think so i tried to brush that off as much as i could but it kind of got to me just because i was always getting sick and like <laughs> you know i always found something to nitpick since i was very unhappy in the situation and she only took showers like once a week if that like gross right right <sighs> So let me tell you, moving out of my dorm room was quite the deal. I had to get in touch with my RA. We had to have a mediation with her, so I did that and it wasn't working out. And we like basically, me and Heidi hated each other still. And um, that was like right before Christmas that we had our little meeting thing. And then 
after Christmas, I think we had another one. And I like told people, I was like, I need to get out of here like now. And they're like, well, you can't just move because it's a roommate issue and you don't like her. I was like, well, it's not that I just don't like her. Like I don't just not like someone for no reason. It's I'm getting sick constantly because the environment I'm having to live in, I keep my stuff very clean and all of her stuff is very dirty. It's not like, oh, something here and there. It's something very dirty all the time. And even her parents would comment about it too. They would, I had to have like private meetings with the head of housing and stuff and basically they told me that it wasn't going to work and I was like I'm going to be leaving. I didn't get why they weren't letting me leave for medical reasons so I had to go to a doctor and then have sign offs and I got all that stuff and then they finally let me move out and I moved out of the actual hall I was in like not just one seat but that actual whole hall was called Heritage Hall. I moved out of there and I moved on into Ackerman, Ackerman which was on another part of campus like not too far away. And I moved over there into a single dormitory room in a um, co-ed hall. So before I was living in a hall with like everyone had a roommate and we were all female. And I moved into an Ackerman room on the first floor, which is what they had available. And I had a single, single dorm. So I lived in there by myself, but in my hall, it was co-ed. So there were boys and girls. And I liked that a lot better, like less drama. <laughs> and I could keep my own space clean and I was able to stay healthy after that. And I tried to like make amends with my roommate um, after the fact, because obviously she thought I was like the worst person in the world for saying that she was dirty and like all this stuff and like telling her that she should be doing her cleaning more and picking up after herself but you know her parents did a lot of things for her and I'm pretty sure she I don't know if she still lives at home but I heard last I heard was she had left college and moved back in with her parents so yeah I tried I tried to make amends and I invited her to my single dorm to kind of talk and we hung out once and I was just like you know like can we put the past behind us and I was just like for me like I had to move out or I was I was really sick and I couldn't I couldn't like be sick and you know achieve school and have a social life and so yes that's like a, I think I explained how I got into college more than I explained her but I mean there's just like so much to say I just tried to like condense it into smaller aspects like we did have we did get along really well before the issues were really brought to light because in the first month or so you're getting to know this person and their routine and like how they act I like mean yeah four or five months too long because it was like end of January or February that I moved into my other dorm which actually cost more to live in a single dorm which was ridiculous. I'm grateful my my mom and my grandma paid for my first year at college so they took care of basically everything except I just covered my dorm fee at that point because it was going to be more expensive. So um, yes I am lucky that I had people to help me pay for that and I am very grateful. Um, so I, I was okay with paying that extra money to um, have my own dorm because I needed it and uh, if I was going to be happy and healthy and finish the school year like being able to like stay till June and not like have to leave that was uh, a big plus for me. Yeah I have so much I can say about you know the whole situation. So yes I know I said I would have a college video coming out soon like telling me about or telling about my college experience but I think I'm just gonna do like a bunch of different videos like this was about my roommate and it was quite awful <laughs> um, and I'll throw out some other stories from that year on campus and then maybe my years after that not living on campus and going to a different school but yeah if you guys like this video don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel I have some more videos coming out similar to this based on my college experiences some bad and then some good cheating boyfriends passing out I think those two will be the next two that I will probably get to <laughs> I hope you guys liked it don't forget to hit that subscribe button and my social media links will be linked down below. So if you want to check those out, go ahead. And I have a vlog channel as well. So if you want to subscribe to that, it's over here. And until next time, bye.